Hello there, my name is Nascrawlo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're gonna switch up the gears a little bit. We've been talking about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and trade setups and we've been trading so much this year and that, you know, it's just so much of information every single day about the markets, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, macro analysis, etc. So I've decided to create a video where, you know, so many people on social media, by the way, follow me on Instagram and as well as on Twitter, just a verified account. And so many people have been sending me messages saying that, you know, Thomas, how to trade, how to do this, how to do that, what are the biggest mistakes that, you know, beginner traders are making. And I've decided to make this video and talk to you about three biggest mistakes that in my personal opinion are costing like 90% of the traders their time as well as money. So if you're brand new to trading or you've been trading for some time and you feel like, you know, you don't have the edge in the market, then this video is going to be for you. Now, in my personal opinion, there are literally probably like hundreds of things that you could do wrong in the market, you know, systematically and chronically, so to speak, that could cause you lose a lot of money, you know, over time. However, uh, whenever I'm thinking about the biggest mistakes, uh, only three things really come to my mind. So, and these are the things that, quite honestly, not too many people talk about on the internet. And quite frankly, I've never seen anyone talk about these things. So, for that reason, stay tuned and watch this video from the beginning and until the end because you really want to know exactly what could be holding you back from making money in the market as opposed to losing money that you know there are like 95 percent of retail day traders and swing traders and just investors as well who are losing money in the market so if you're one of those people you really have to watch this video spend this time today and watch it from the beginning and until the end and as always if you're brand new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell because there is a lot to learn here it's one of the best you know crypto YouTube channels and trading YouTube channels in general that is very honest, very straight and doesn't, you know, tell you about the bull, bull crap. How I made $200,000 in two days using indicators, you know, whatever rubbish that all those scammers are telling you. So for that reason, stay tuned and let's just get right into it. Okay, so without any further ado, if you've hit that like button, good job, because whenever I see a lot of likes and let's get to at least 2000 likes in this video, you know, it really motivates me to put out more content for you guys and girls. So thank you in advance. And there is also a share button below the video that you can use um, to share this video on your social media or friends and family members and send this video to those people that you think that should watch this video as well which will they will tell you they will thank you later that you know they will you will save them a lot of time as well as money okay let's get into three of these things and being number one that is the simplest out of all of them and gradually as we go through these steps and through these things that i think are wrong with the trading of most of day traders and active traders in general uh, they will get more complicated and more interesting so the first one is quite on the surface but still a lot of people People like a predominant majority of traders make this huge mistake. So it is flipping between different strategies without even even giving them a chance. So certainly, I mean, it depends on where you learn how to trade, of course, but if you learn whatever it is that you learn how to trade, uh, you know, there are so many different strategies out there. Different people trade in a different way. I trade in one way. I have one, you know, perception of the market. I have my own perception of technical analysis, fundamental analysis, macro analysis, on-chain data analysis when it comes to crypto, etc. So it's all very different. And some people, you know, exclude one analysis, then some people focus on just technical analysis, that's absolutely fine. However, you know, a lot of people spend literally years on trading, but they're flipping in between different strategies to the point that they've already forgotten what they've used like a year ago, which is just a no go. So you have to select a person whom you're learning from, trust that person and spend at least a few months or half a year, a year on a certain strategy, understanding it from inside out, getting a feel for it, understanding the price action and how is the price moving in relation to the entry signals that a certain strategy is providing and actually following two more tips that I'm going to give you in this video. And only then you can actually conclude something because a lot of people, you know, what they do is and it's also a huge mistake that they're just using support and resistance. Like, for example, I have a bunch of lines in this chart right here, which looks quite nasty. I know I need to clean this up, but it's just for my own sake, 
this is very relevant so i understand exactly what is happening here a lot of people will draw you know support and resistance they'll be like oh this is a channel this is a breakout this is a fake out and now we're going down and by the way this is a great shorting opportunity just as i said in my previous bitcoin overview videos and they're gonna go to a smaller time frame they're gonna mark you know support and resistance here as well in this vicinity resistance support we're breaking it right now and we are trading it our target is let's say something like this for example and we're going down so our target take profit at 21,000, and that's it finish the thing is that these kinds of strategies they're very simple you can use them and uh, a lot of the times they work so you can make money like this however uh, there are going to be times when strategies simply stop working so it's regardless of what strategy you use you cannot be jumping around strategy simply because there will be times in the market that really nothing works or you know certain strategies don't work other strategies start to work and us as traders our job is to adapt to the market conditions and that oftentimes becomes very difficult to do so we have to limit our potential downside and increase increase our potential upside. And we can certainly do it using proper risk and money management rules, or we can use it by sticking to proper risk money management rules and sticking to one strategy that we believe in. And uh, the tips, the next two tips I'm gonna give you, the next two biggest mistakes are made by traders, uh, is gonna all fall into place. So stick around till the end, you'll get and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about here. And remember guys and girls that if you wanna be trading actively yourself, you also have to select a good broker and uh, with my personalized links down below in the description or in the pinned comment, you'll find up to $12,100 in initial deposit bonuses with exchanges and trading platforms that I personally trust. It's Bybit as well as BitGit. With Bybit, you can claim up to $4,100 in free initial deposit bonuses. And with BitGit, you can claim up to $8,000 in initial deposit bonuses only using my uh, personalized links down below. These are verified platforms. They're quite big and they're very reliable and very convenient to trade on so now let's get to the second biggest mistake made by so many traders and that is going to be it's gonna actually and this is quite crazy and this is why i mean nobody's talking about it even though all those fake gurus uh, because they have no clue and they don't understand what it is and they don't even know how it works but all the professional traders and you know, let me know in the comments if you're a professional trader then you know exactly what i'm talking about and that is not going to be you know some technical analysis or the understanding of on-chain data or you know macro analysis or any kind of risk and money management etc you know all these you know target calculations initial impulse calculations patterns it's going to be about everything that you know surrounds trading and the biggest thing is going to be statistics and here is going to be an example of statistics of one of my students and this is what it all looks like i mean it's not really that complicated but guys and girls mark my words that without keeping proper trading statistics and analyzing your own work as you actually progress this is what it's supposed to actually all look like with all the notes and stuff you are not gonna get anywhere like anywhere if you don't have personal trading statistics you will not be able to analyze your own work and understand exactly what's wrong with your personal trading a lot of people what do they do they're like oh yeah well i'll test this strategy oh it feels like it doesn't work i'll move on to this one. Oh, this guy is a scammer you know i tried his strategy it doesn't work the question is how many trades have you taken how many of those trades you've actually recorded in your trading statistics how many times have you adjusted your trading algorithm and that's another one thing actually that wasn't included in this video but let me know down in the comments if i should co cover the topic of personal trading algorithms also um, in one of my next videos because this is also just as important actually as statistics but anyway so and uh, you have to ask yourself how many stages did you actually systematic and methodological stages did you uh, actually use for testing a certain strategy? Because if you're just going out there, you know, trading for a few days or weeks, you're like, oh, you know, this doesn't work. Let's move on to something else. Let me tell you something. You will keep moving on and moving on and moving on until you conclude that trading is all a scam. It doesn't work and you give up. You know, it's all the market makers and brokers and, uh, and everybody is guilty but you. 
But no, you are the one who is guilty for not making money in the market because me, Thomas Corallo, I'm a living example of, of the fact that you can be young and make millions in markets. So that's how I've done it. That's how I you know, made my initial capital. But I've done it as a businessman. I've done it as a you know, systematic person who understands the importance of things like statistics. And regardless of how good your strategy is, you will need statistics. You will need to keep an eye on the time of your trading, uh, on whether you're longing or shorting. So whether are you going against the market sentiment, uh, which kind of trading model works best for you, which kind of time frame works best in a certain market or environment, for example. There are certain things to consider and cross-check and cross-analyze. Then the um, type of the market that you're trading, the time frame, major trend, your understanding of the major trend, then daily ATR, the ATR this distance, then your range calculation indicators, if you're using any the contract sizes, um, order types, there are so many things that you have to evaluate as a trade. And this is actually this is a good example of the statistics of one of my students. But um, it doesn't include everything that you could include in your statistics. But nonetheless, it still is a good example. And only then you can actually sit there after you know, a few months of trading and after like a few hundred trades, you can say, okay, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, and this doesn't work, but this works really well. So then you take what doesn't work and you exclude it, but not based on, you know, I feel like it. You exclude it from your trading algorithm just simply based on numbers and statistics. And this is how trading becomes a business and turns from gambling into profitable business. This is how you do this properly. And nobody is talking about this. That proper trading statistics is the cornerstone of successful trading. And this leads me into topic and the biggest mistake number three made by beginner traders. And guys, remember that if you want to become one of my students and join my fully certified and accredited trading learning programs that will teach you everything from active trading to long term investing as well as day trading, so all of it, like everything there is about the world of finance and trading as well as investing, you will learn um, in my complete learning program, which takes five months to complete. I know it's a lot of time. Yes. But you will not lose any money in the market and you will understand how it all works and you will be a professional trader. So ask yourself, do you want to put in your, you know, thousand bucks into the market now and lose it all in the next three weeks? Or you want to become a professional trader and learn how to do all these things and join our 200 lectures, 85 practical assignments as, you know, homework and actually learn as you go. And then at the end, get a certified diploma from me, from Tom Scrollo and my educational company. So all the links are down below as well to my famous university grade trading education, really worth your time. And you're going to learn all these things firsthand. So the biggest mistake number three is no practice stages. This is the biggest, I think, mistake of them all. Regardless, if you'll learn from Tom Scrollo or any other guy or any other hotshot trading coach, it doesn't matter if you don't have any practice stages that you're actually recording in this way. And at least depending on your trading style, at least doing 200 trades per stage, you will not succeed in trading because, you know, learning the material, going through the lessons, whatever, watching them, taking notes is one thing. It's great, you know, but at the same time, actual practice, actual putting your energy into the market and actually trying to rip some profits out of it is very different. And a lot of you who are already into trading will agree with me that it's, you know, the biggest problem is switching from demo trading to real money trading. Of course, it's a problem because it's all in your head, right? But how can you switch from real from demo trading to real money trading successfully and not really feel that pump uh, that bump in the road too much and that you know, you actually alleviate this problem of switching to real money trading is by testing your skills. When you are doing at least 200 trades per stage, and you're doing three stages of carefully recorded trading, and you have a good tra uh, trading strategy, like, for example, you've learned it from me at thomascrollo.com. Again, all the links down below. Then you can, and, and then at the end of those three stages, you see that overall you've done 600 trades with a success rate of 40 to 45%. Your average take profit to stop loss ratio was, let's say, 3 to 1 or 2.8 to 1, whatever. And overall, you're making money and you are consistent. You understand the market, you feel the market, you understand your own trading because you can actually track your own trading. And then it feels absolutely different. Then when you switch to real money, you start with a small amount so that there is no psychological pressure and you build on it, you build on it. And then, you know, 
after a few months, you're trading literally with big amounts of money and you're growing your um, trading deposit very rapidly. So that's how it works. What usually people do, they buy some course somewhere, they spend two weeks learning, then they put in all the money that they have, that they've taken their mother, brother, sister, friend, whatever, or a bank. Some people are crazy enough to actually get into debt, which is just stupid. And then they just trade without any experience, without any understanding whether they understood all the material properly, whether they're ready to actually trade at all without seeing any of the numbers you have to first run the numbers and yes you have to do at least three stages 200 trades per stage and if you're doing this part-time you can still do these things part-time but if you're doing this part-time it can take you a year absolutely it can take you a year but it's better a year than all lost money and all lost hopes in the world of trading because remember that when you have proper mentorship and understanding of all these super important technical and systematic and uh, statistical stuff you can be in this you know in these three to five percent of traders who are actually profitable so let me know down in the comments which is the next topic for the next video here i'm going to link a tutorial to bybit that you can trade on bybit and how i am trading on bybit so really cool tips there as well check it out it's a really useful tutorial and a small course on crypto trading as well so check it out and as always stay smart stay rich and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye